And what is up, everyone? We are live on the Boy Blue 91982 with my lovely co host, Jim James. What's up, Jim? How you doing? How you doing? Oh, it's Drugged Up Biff. Wow, we got a special guest appearance by Drugged Up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, you're so drugged up, he forgot his name. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, sorry, that was totally unexpected. All right, but anyways, topic of the video is juggaloism and how it's eternal, and there's nothing you can do about it, Jim James. So, uh, juggaloism is an actual religion. It's a theism. Which means that, um, you know, basically, from my understanding, if you follow, like, the rules of the Joker's cards, you get to go to Shangri-La. And uh, what do you think about that statement? Is it right or wrong? Well, that's what ICP tries to tell you, you know, that, you know, they'll, they'll play it off, you know. Um, like, I mean... They'll, they'll say, hey, the carnival is real. Like he says in his book, you want to tell me the carnival isn't real? Um, but to say if it's, uh, you know, a real dark carnival where evil souls go to be judged and shit like that, you know, I don't know. But ICP, when they talk about their dark carnival mythology, you know, they really, you know, uh, want people to believe the shit. I live for the carnival. I die for the carnival. I pray for the carnival to come take me away, you know. And yeah, exactly. like we, we have our Shangri-La, our view of heaven and hell. You know, it's just another way of looking at it, a fun story mythology, you know what I'm saying? But what ICP created with that and the Juggalo world, you know, now we have other, it's not just all about that. You can be a Juggalo and not believe in ICP's preachy God message. You know what I'm saying? Oh, absolutely. And, um... I have a question. Do you think that uh, the Dark Carnival can actually save someone's soul? Like, say say someone is like a sinner within this religion and say that they, uh, they're a racist fuck, they've been a racist fuck their whole life, say they, they raped a girl or something and, you know, they beat their wife and their kids, but then they find the fucking music and the message of the Dark Carnival and it you know, it sets them on the correct path and they no longer do the terrible things. Do you mm. think that's a possibility and do you think that's happened before? Oh, most definitely. That's what ICP wants. You know, they want yeah. their... You know, ICP, yeah. they're like fucking... They're still thugs. They're grown men with families now, but they still have like a thug-like mentality. You got Shaggy Tudor trying to dropkick Fred Durst, you know, like... What that on some yeah. blue man shit? Like really? What the fuck? You know what kind? Of, that is clearly a, a publicity sp stunt. You know, like I, mean, I was just gonna say that. Like I don't know how real that was. I think it was. That's rumors and knows. speculation. That's just a rumor. But you know, like, but they still have that yeah preachy message. You know, but like I just said, you have other acts that are on like MNE. You know, a la Zuli Lu. They're all wicked. You know, talk like satanic shit and whatever. You know, and and mocking like a, a belief in a god and whatnot, you know. Um, uh, so you got your yin and yang, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, but you don't have to be a juggalo and listen to ICP's message like they preach it. You know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't like force it down your throat or nothing. But you know, yeah, it's a big story, and they're they're teaching this uh, the lesson, life lessons, and the music and shit or whatever, you know. So you won't see your mighty death pop. And then uh, have to turn the crank at the riddle box, you know what I'm saying? And Jake and Jack are juggling yeah. your balls, you know what I'm saying? So. Well, I think in uh, in that religion, hell is meant for like the the bottom of the barrel worst people. These are rapists, these are wife beaters, and these are racist people. But like, what does it say about someone like, you know, say they? Uh, they know someone's going to be gone for the week and they plan on robbing the house or something and stealing all their shit and selling it. Like, oh, what's your opinion on that? <laughs> or like some like petty, some petty crime. I'm being serious. Well, that, that's because like, that's, that's bad karma. Yeah. You know, there's juggalo, there's bad juggalos that yes, they're juggalos because they simply listen to ICP, but 
they're um they're letting the great malenko get the best of them and they'll steal your uh juggler cds like i thought we were homies like i just met you now you want to smoke all my weed steal my cds and fuck my bitch you know thanks a lot it's like, uh, what? like violent j one time he stole a car and he turned the engine on and his tape was playing inside of it you know what i mean <laughs> yeah you know um, <laughs> but yeah i believe in karma I believe in more like a karma thing, you know, and I'm a very spiritual juggalo, you know, and like um, to me, juggaloism is eternal, you know, what ICP created, you know, um, and, you know, the so juggalo you stuff. In karma. So, all right. So what I had the example I said before, like if you put negative energy out there in the universe or whatever, say you go and you rob that guy's house, then something will come back and bite you in the ass. But if you do something good, like, say you're at, like, Dunkin' Donuts, and you order a coffee, and you're like, yeah, I'd like to pay for this coffee and whatever the person wants behind me. That's good karma. Mm -hmm. And when you do something good like that, the universe will come back and give you something good. So that's what you believe? That's exactly what I believe. Yeah, it feels like yeah. I'm always, you know, I'm not always in need or... You know, it's, it's, I don't have to wait long, you know, until I get the money up for a pack of smokes or whatever need be, you know, a bag of weed, you know, pay my phone bill, shit like that, you know. Um, yeah. I'm a good person, you know, and I know good things will come to me if I'm if if I am good. But do I believe we go to hell's pit if we don't um, live a good life of karma? Um, I don't believe in hell. That's just funny to me. You know, I don't agree with everything that ICP says. You know, you don't have well, to even like ICP to be a juggler now. You can just be a magic well, ninja. Uh, you know that I'm an atheist, right? Yeah. But um, atheists are also fond of, like, science and, like, the scientific concept. And are you familiar with uh, Isaac Newton's laws? You know, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Mm -hmm. So that could apply to karma. Mm -hmm. You know, for every good that you do, there's an equal and opposite reaction. For every bad you do, it's well, the then same you, thing. You, know what I mean? you also got to factor in the butterfly effect. Isn't that for, like, time travel? No, it's nothing like the movie. Butterfly effect is like a butterfly's wings on, can cause a tornado on the other side of the world. I know, and I, I don't know, like, I know what it means, but, no, I'm not talking about the movie, but, no, I think that applies to time travel, where, say, you go, you go back in, like, 50 years in the past, and you interact with, like, your, your mother or your father or something, and then that interaction causes you to not be born. Or like you go back to the like. No, that that's you know, just that's a play off the movie. That's a play off the movie, dog. But like the real butterfly effect, it's like your consequences can cause great. Um, well, I mean, your actions can cause great consequences, you know, and repercussions. You know what I'm saying? Like what you do affects yeah. the world. You know, it could be as small as a butterfly's flap of wings causing a tornado. Uh, I understand that. Like, if you, uh, like, say you see a butterfly in the, uh, if you're in South America, like, say you're in Brazil or something, and you step on a butterfly, you know, and crush it and kill it, the fact that that butterfly didn't fly after that means that there's going to be a hurricane in fucking South Carolina or something. And if, I know, I know what that is. Mm -hmm. And I understand the concept, meaning that your actions have, repercussions and effects on the world so yeah and i'm not referring to the i haven't seen that movie in fucking almost 10 years so. good movie i love that movie it's, a, it's yeah. one of them sit on the edge of your seat and then you're like what the fuck oh shit kind of movies you know don't don't want to spoil it for anyone no spoilers for anyone who hadn't seen it yet but i highly recommend that movie but um just to, um talk about didn't this movie come out 14 or 15 years ago? I mean, it's old, yeah, yeah, it's right old. It's like at least 10 or more. Um, but no, anyways, back to the subject at hand, though. But, like, the Dark Carnival, does Violent J really want you to believe in the Dark Carnival, that it's a real spiritual force, that it is God, and may all jugglers find him? But that then you would say that, okay, then he has ideas for the Joker cards that are inspired by the Dark Carnival, you know, so are the Joker cards real spiritual entities? 
you know I don't know if enough people believe in something and give it energy I think that does kind of make something real what do you think about that I think, uh, when it comes to um, I want to bring uh, one Joker's card it's the 2012 Mighty Death Pop where um, it still has a lesson in it uh, the Mighty Death Pop is for people that go through life thinking that nothing can happen to them you know, like risk takers and adrenaline junkies, like, you know, I'll just do a fire, I'll just shoot up a shitload of heroin or something. I'm not going to die. You know, I can do all the heroin I want. Death happens to everyone else, but not me. But the mighty death, if you fucking keep doing that shit, eventually the mighty death pop's going to find you and it's going to, and you're going to die from that. You're not exempt from the fucking reality of death. And like within the new deck, I think that's what the message is. But I could be wrong. That's just my interpretation. But like Bang Pow Blum, Mighty Death Pop, uh, you know, uh, Lost and Found, you know, and uh, whatever. I'm not sure what the Fearless Fred, Fred Fury message is because that's not out yet. But I'm sure that has some kind of lesson within it as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. Uh, yeah. I think the fearless Fred Fury is about you, dude. No, it's definitely <laughs> about me. They said like, oh, this boy Blue, his about name's Freddy. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, I influence. I am the carnival, yo. They get their visions from me. Yeah, it's about you. It's all about me. Um, but to sum it up, I mean, um, you know, does Violent J want want you to believe in these stories he's telling? Um, maybe possibly, you know, but I he think says, yes and no. he, he well, says in his all, book, this he, was all from a, this is all from a dream that he had. Yeah. But he says you know? in his book that some people think it's a religion, but he doesn't think he didn't think at the time, uh, because he said he's rolling with Jesus now. So he, but I'm confused. He wants you to believe in, in the dark carnival, but he believes in Jesus. And I'm sorry, but being a, a Christian juggalo does not coincide with me at all it doesn't mix well it doesn't make compute it doesn't compute for me because it doesn't make any sense it's an oxymoron yeah they need the juggalo the juggalism religion christians would see that as satanic like you know pseudo religion that's meant to manipulate it's by it's satan or whatever it's meant to manipulate your minds so you can follow satan and go to hell so like yeah christian juggalo is kind of a fucking oxymoron in my opinion. Yeah. But if you want to be that, if you want to be that, that's fine, dude. Rock hold, on. Hold on a second. I Whatever think I'm, you want. Hold on, Jen. Uh, I think I'm grounded. Uh, what's up? Oh, I got pizza. Shit. All right, we're going to have to do a part two to this or something. Okay, uh, give me a minute, Mom. Um, <laughs> I got to eat dinner, yo, or else I'll get grounded. You're neglecting your fucking roll obligations for a slice of pizza. 